Welcome to the market opening gong where we bring you the market highlights for the previous day and market activities to watch. Headline inflation increases by 12.82% year on year in July 2020, 0.26% higher than June 2020 rate and Apex Commodities monthly report analyzed price variance, volatility and price seasonality performance for maize, soybeans and paddy rice in Nigeria and the international markets. It highlights scarcity of key commodities in Nigeria and causes for price surge. But before we take a look at the highlights, here is a wrap-up of activities from the Nigerian capital market for Monday, August 17, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the equities market maintains downtrend as trading activities closed on a negative note as NSC ASI records 0.27% loss. Its year-to-date returns currently stands at minus 6.37%. Unilever Nigeria, N Nigeria Flower Mills and Julius Berger Nigeria were top gainers, while Livestock Feeds, Vita Foam Nigeria and International Breweries were the top losers for equity. Market bred closed positive with 17 gainers against 15 losers and improved performance when compared with previous outlook. The All Share Index closed at 25,132.67 basis points with a market capitalization of 13.110 trillion naira. 3,597 deals were executed for the day. At the close of trading for the day, investors lost 35.4 billion naira to open the week negative. Guarantee Trust Bank, Zenit Bank and Sterling Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes and most active to boost market turnover. Looking at the NASD OTC exchange, the NSI and market capitalization inched up by 0.70% to close at 718.43 basis points and 527.73 billion respectively. Furthermore, the change in volume traded was 144.48 to close at 25,617. The value traded also advanced in performance to 7.18 million naira in seven deals executed for the day. For the FMDQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.70 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 386 naira 50 kobo to a dollar, while the I and E FX rate opened at 386 naira 10 kobo and closed at 385 naira 78 kobo to a dollar. You can also check for global, commodity, currency, and other indices on the economic dashboard displayed on your screen. For the market highlights, National Bureau of Statistics yesterday released its consumer price index for the month-on-month -month basis. Headline index increased by 1.25% in July 2020, which is 0.04% rate higher than the rate recorded in June 2020. All item inflation year on year was highest in Bauchi, Kogi, Shokoto, and Play 2, while Lagos, Adamawa, and Kwara recorded the slowest rise in headline inflation. The highest increases were recorded in prices of medical services, hospital services, passenger transport by air, pharmaceutical products, maintenance and repair of personal transport equipment, and vehicle spare parts. Also, the Apex Composite Index opened at 245.6 points and had a monthly average of 250.3 points, a positive month-on-month -month performance against June 2020 to close at 251.1 points at the last trading day of the month. For the market events to watch, Eterna PLC will be having its 27th annual general meeting by 11 a.m. today at Shell Hall Muzon Center, Onikon, Lagos. And that brings us to the end of this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.prosharenj.com to get more market updates. Do connect with us on our social media platforms, show it on your screen. Until we come your way again, thank you for watching.